Serialized items are almost identical to that of an inventory part, except each and every item is tracked according to its unique serial number. Through serialized items, you can track how many items remain in stock after a sale, how many items you have on order, your cost of goods sold, and the value of your inventory. To create a new serialized item, go to Customers from the main menu at the top and select Invoice Item List. Right-click within the list and select New Item. Click the Item Type drop-down and select Serialized. Give your serialized item a name or number. Assign a category if you'd like. Enter in a purchase description. A sales description. An estimated cost of the serialized item. A retail price. Assign a markup method if you'd like. Select the preferred vendor that you purchased the serialized item from. A manufacturer warranty. A bin number of where the serialized item is located within a specific warehouse and whether or not MSDS is required. On your inventory tab, you can see the current serialized items and serial numbers that you have in stock for this particular part, or you can assign additional serial numbers when creating a new serialized item. If this is a new part, go ahead and enter in the serial numbers that you have for this to get your inventory into stock. Assign the warehouse of where this item is located and be sure to enter in the cost. Enter in the date of the inventory that you received. Assign a department if you'd like and enter in a memo. From within the accounting tab, assign the accounts that the, this item should affect when the item is purchased and sold. The income account is affected when the item is sold to a customer. The COGS account is affected when the item is sold to a customer. And your inventory asset account is affected when the item is purchased and sold to a customer. You must create an inventory asset account to track the value and quantity of your inventory on hand. You can also use the quantity checking feature to alert you when the item quantity is under or over a certain quantity and to bring up a message alerting you of additional information when that happens. Click save and close when you're done filling out the item information. As you can see, I now have a list of the serial numbers that are in stock for this serialized item. For more information on serialized inventory, creating serialized items, and what constitutes a serialized inventory, click F1 and read the help topic on serialized items.